Hello students, how are you? I hope you are all fine. The world is still in the grip of a pandemic. People are dying. Economies are crashing. Many people have lost their jobs. Isn't it? Yes? You seem well informed. From where did you get this information? From the media, of course. What kind of media? Newspapers and visual media. So students, today let us talk about newspapers and newspaper reports. Dear students, let us take a look at a brief history of newspapers. Human beings are social animals. We cannot live alone. Because of this nature, we are always curious to know more about the world and people around us. Written news originated in Roman Empire around 59 BC. News were carved on stones or metal sheets. They were called Acta Diurna. Printed newspapers came into being in 1605 in Germany. In the 17th century, Europe became a hub of printed newspapers. Newspapers were printed in France, Italy, Holland and England. The first newspaper to be printed in India was the Hickey's Bengal Gazette, published in 1779. Now let us find out what a newspaper report is. A report is a spoken or written account of something that happened in the past. It is a short, sharp and concise document written for a particular purpose and audience. Newspaper reports are published with the purpose of informing the readers about what is happening in the world. Writing a newspaper report is a very responsible job because it can influence the opinion and thoughts of the readers. The press is considered as the fourth estate or fourth pillar of democracy. Newspapers act like the voice of the voiceless. It is like a bridge between government and the people. So, the freedom of press ensures a healthy democracy. In this era of social networking, newspapers are still regarded as a source of authentic information. So, the newspaper reports must be based on facts, not opinions. News can be broadly divided into two kinds, hard news and soft news. News that are of serious and urgent nature are called hard news. It is written in a formal tone. Soft news. Stories of human interest with the purpose of informing and entertaining the readers are known as soft news. There are different kinds of newspaper reports. News articles. These are also called hard news stories. They are reported immediately after they have taken place. The subject can be politics, economics, crime, war, etc. They are presented in a straightforward style or a factual manner. Featured articles. Reports about persons, events, etc. You can add your opinion in these articles. Editorial. This is one of the most important part of a newspaper. The editor or reporter expresses his personal opinion here. It is written in a subjective way. Entertainment news. Latest updates of the entertainment industry is provided here. Reviews. Critical review of films, music, literature and other art forms by experts in the respective fields are found in newspapers. 
a newspaper may contain interviews and sports news newspaper reporting involves finding facts and presenting them in a comprehensive way satisfying the curiosity of the readers is the major task of good journalism dear students now let us take a look at the format of a newspaper report the first step is of course the headline the headline as you know should be catchy it should be based on facts and should not mislead you can write the headline in present tense or future tense according to the nature of the report the next step is writing a byline this comes just below the headline here you can find the name of the reporter example arun singh or staff reporter or special correspondent you may or may not write the date below in the following format the next step is writing a place line students use capital letters while writing the name of the place all the information provided in the newspaper report should be written in an inverted pyramid format that is the most relevant information should come on the top the other details should follow in the order of diminishing importance lead it can be spelled in both ways l e d e or l e a d this is the most important part of a newspaper usually it is the opening paragraph it should tell the reader something that they don't know a lead should answer the following questions who what when where why and how if readers lose interest in the lead they may not read the report completely so try to keep the lead short and attractive the next step is writing the body of the report we can give the detailed news here stick to facts no to opinions use a third person narrative that is use he she they it etc instead of i me we and us the next part is an interview here we caught a person who was a witness to the incident reported introduce the person give his full name and quote the exact words he has spoken finally we can report the current situation explain the current relevance of the incident dear students now let us go through the steps involved in writing a report once again the first step is writing a catchy headline this is followed by byline where you write the name of the reporter and the place from which the reporting is done lead follows the next step is writing the body of the report this step is followed by an interview where you caught a person who was present during the incident written in the report the final step is describing the current relevance of the topic given in the report dear students now let us go through some of the tips and tricks that may help you to write a good report keep the report short and crisp use simple sentences avoid lengthy sentences with a lot of punctuations develop ideas logically use past tense or reported speech remember to follow the inverted pyramid pattern avoid unnecessary details make sure that the report is based on facts otherwise it will become an opinion piece or an article Dear students i have prepared a newspaper report to illustrate how we can actually use the format while preparing a newspaper report 
Here is the question. Imagine that you are a newspaper reporter and you have witnessed the boxing contest between the Amigo brothers. Prepare a newspaper report. As the first step, you have to identify the category to which this report belongs. Of course, it is a sports news. It is also a soft news. So, we can combine facts and opinions while writing the report. The next question is, does the news really matter to the readers? What about the news value? What can you do to make the news interesting? A small boxing event organized by a local boys club cannot attract readers for sure. So we have to make the news interesting. How can we do this? Let us see. This is the report prepared by us. Read the headline. Boxing match becomes a rare spectacle of friendship. The focus of the news is taken away from the boxing match to friendship. The readers will be curious to know more. The byline is written below the headline. Special correspondent. After that comes the place line. Manhattan. Now let us read the lead or first paragraph. A boxing match organized by the boys club last day at Tompkins Square Park was special in a lot of ways. The finalists were close friends known as Amigo Brothers. After an exciting and ruthless bout, the boxers left the ring together without even waiting for the results. Let us see whether the lead answers the following questions. What? Where? When? Who? How? And why? What happened? A boxing match happened. Where? At Tompkins Square Park. When? Last afternoon. Who was involved? The Amigo brothers were involved. How? They left the ring together without waiting for the results. Why? Because they were close friends. See? The lead has answered all the questions. The following two paragraphs contain the body of the report. I have followed the inverted pyramid pattern here. Matters of importance related to the headline is given on the top. The match which took place in the afternoon had created a lot of interest in the neighborhood. The participants Antonio Cruz and Felix Vergas fought each other brutally. The final round was to decide the champion. In an unexpected turn of events, the audience found the boxers embracing each other after the fierce match. They left the ring arm in arm before the result was announced. The boxers are well liked and respected by the residents of Lower East Manhattan. Their hard work and sincerity in pursuing their dream of winning World Lightweight Boxing Championship had made them popular among their fans. The news that the childhood friends are facing each other in the finals had become the talk of the town. The stadium had filled up long before the match began. I have included the interview of one of the spectators in the last paragraph. Mr. Ralph Potter, who lives in the same alley with the boxers, made this remark. I know these kids since their childhood. I have seen them grow up into two strong boxers. I was afraid that the bout may affect their friendship. I am very happy that it didn't. One day, these boys will make us proud. There is no doubt about it. However, the question whether the boxers violated the rules and regulations of the boxing match is still under debate. The last sentence tells us about the current relevance of this news. So dear students, today we had a very detailed discussion regarding newspaper reports and the methods adopted in writing them. And I hope you will be able to write a very good newspaper report for your examination. As a homework, please grab your notebook and write the answer of the question given in your textbook. 
And uh, as a teacher, I know that there are many aspiring journalists among you. I would like to wish them all the very best for their future. Till we meet again. Thank you. Bye.